So, it's the What A Mic At Podcast, pilot episode, episode one of many, 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 many. We got uh, the three amigos here, got myself, prolific, the professional, producer, songwriter, a few of the other different titles, man. I'm, I'm exhausted, man. Long day. We also got the other two partners in the house. Go ahead and step up. Hey, this G, this Lo from G and Lo. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say this is G and Lo. Yeah, this Lo from G and Lo. You know what I'm saying? Producer, songwriter, like Pro said, many different other shits that we finagle and put together. So yeah, you know, we just out here trying to get some people a good topic to listen to, get some thoughts in their head, food for thought, so to say. You know what I mean? We're gonna get down to business. This is G Money from G and Low. About to get it popping with this podcast. We're gonna talk about a lot of interesting stuff today. A lot of big topics going on. Like Dr- like why Drake and Sade was together. Um, <laughs> we're gonna touch on a lot of that stuff. But yeah, we just gonna come in so y'all can we can feed the streets. Yeah, man. We ain't no experts on no subject, man. We just three guys. Uh, what would Donald Trump call it? Locker room talk? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just three guys just kicking some shit about what it is we think about certain topics, man. On the fact check tip, you know what I'm saying? We're not pulling out no Wikipedias, no Googles, or nothing, man. So if we make some errors and something is wrong on here, trust and believe, man. We three 30-something-year-old cats going off of memory, and y'all know how that is. Sometimes it ain't always as sharp. And if y'all niggas fact checking this, y'all got way too much time on y'all hand to be looking up that shit that that's, y'all fact checking that's, that's absolutely <laughs> true as well. <laughs> and there is some uh, some brew being cracked in here as well. So if you sure. start to hear a little bit of slurring of the speech or if things get a little out of hand, man, just charge it to the alcohol, dog. That's all it is, well, man. Join the party. Yeah. <laughs> Not me, though. I got a bottle of Mountain Dew over here, man. It's about to have me super amped. we we'll be, be charged, up all though. night. Yeah, extra charge. So let's get into it. Also, man, musicbypro.com. GNLOMusic.com. That's G N L O M U S I K.com, man. That's where you can find the both of us. Past projects, current projects coming up. 1282 just came out in December, right? Uh, December 2016. October 31st. October oh, October. 31st. I'm down. I'm tripping. October, they just put out the. So y'all fact check him on that. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, it's on the website now, goddamn. So. <laughs> and we're working on a new lyric album, Imagine This Yesterday. We expect in May. 2017 man so within the next 60 days we plan on having that thing online and or in your hands so uh lock in with us man enjoy the show there's a lot of artists out here mm-hmm. there's a lot of good artists and then you got like that extra good artists i'm talking about the artists that transcended into a whole nother but they got their own popular culture themselves yes sir so i think the best thing to do let's start off talking about some some hot artists and out of those hot artists, our opinion of <clears throat> do they have a actually classic album under their belt? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we going current or we going like how far back we want to go? Because you know we yeah. don't want to, we don't even really know our demographic just yet. You know we don't know if we hitting okay. on the the teen, okay. late teens or early twenties. So if we, let's, so as an example, talk about, let's talk about hot now. Okay, let's go hot, hot now. now. Okay, let's go hot now, and then we'll 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 rewind it back a little bit, but we don't want to go too far back. We don't want to go all the way to BDP and all that. Like no disrespect, but <laughs> so hot now. We talking about the 2000s? We talking, we talking about, about the nineties too. Put it like this: we'll say the, the last ten years. Say the artist. Yeah, the artist had to have debuted in the last ten years. I don't know no classic albums in the last ten years. To be honest with you, Woo. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's just me. <laughs> I ain't I, new artists. I, honestly, the you last thing. Jersey, I mean, he got a he got a picture with Sade. We mentioned that. He got to have something. <laughs> that picture you know is classic. You know I don't know about the album. No, but still, picture I don't. Is I, I, I don't know if his Drake album is a classic. No. I like. What about like, Wayne? Like a classic. But well, Wayne debuted. In the oh, okay. 90s, what about uh? Well, let's what, let's take the timestamp off of it. Let's just okay. Okay. So Artists that still still relevant right relevant, now, but even if still, they even if they don't have an album right. out recently, you we, know people who we still, not going back right. to the Tupac's and the Biggies. People who yeah, because we already know right. Okay, people right. whose names still hold a little weight. Put it that way. That's still active. Though. Okay, you know what I mean. That's rough, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go on record and say I've never heard an entire Drake album. The first Drake album will probably be his closest. What was the first one? The uh, what the fuck was the name of his first album? See the. I don't know, cause he was, was it doing. Thank me later. Thank me later. Yeah, oh, that's the know. closest one Shoot. I believe that could be a classic. Cause almost every song on there was cold. It's just. What's the biggest record on there? Uh, just for my own memory. Over and uh, uh, no, the one that Kanye yeah, did. Yeah, about to say the, the one that Kanye did. Jamaican did. chick. Uh, yeah. Jamaican chick. The um. Do, 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 no, it was kind of Caribbean. Do, 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 had that Caribbean do, 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 sound do, 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 to it. I'm more than just a dancer. 
Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey, okay, hey, okay. Hey, that was mm-hmm. No, so that, that'll <laughs> probably be his close one. Uh, views were straight, but I'm going to have to say probably. What about the other one? I though? heard views the one with the weekend on there. the wall of a hotel room. The one that debuted before. the weekend. Take care. Uh, classic. We all about classic. No, like, I'm, I'm asking. Like, like, I don't think he had any classics. He, no, okay, well, yeah. let me put that out there. That's, yeah, yeah. that's what let me get at. I'm, I don't think Drake had any classics Like, to yet. me, like a classic, Doggy Style was a classic. The Chronic was a classic. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Eminem, uh, Marshall Mathers LP was a classic. Okay. Drake, don't, I, right, I, like well. I said, in the last 10 years, I don't okay. know if nobody had. You know what? Maybe Kendrick's first I was one. just about to say, moving on, let's go to Kendrick. What Kendrick, think his about first Kendrick? one. I, yeah. I think it was a cat. What's that? The Butterfly? That's still, though. No, that no that's the Butterfly. One. The first uh, one was, was Good Kid, Mad City. Oh, yeah, Good Kid, Mad City. Okay, you know yeah, what? I can't even say that was a classic. It was a great Good album. Kid, Mad City. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not on the classic tip. It's definitely. It's a great album. Okay. But not classic. It's definitely like eight. 8.5 like it's got great moments but then it's got some tracks where it's like I don't want to hear that again I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have again. to say I'm, I don't think but it's of been this, a classic of in the this, last 10 years yeah of this new generation or the current generation rather that is one of the albums that does stand out that uh, first Kendrick, Kendrick joint you, I like the last one too you know, but it wasn't as good as the first one that J. Cole the same his first album was cold but j cole is an artist to me his albums are starting to get better like yeah. his first one was good the next one better his mixtape last good at one the, at, at the beginning okay brother mm-hmm. you on the right road but mm-hmm. you still he's still climbing to me okay. you know what i'm saying and i like you know j what? cole but out of the, he ain't there yet out of the new guys and we are we ain't even gonna mention big shine in that no, that category he don't have a classic i mean i'm just no. saying that because yeah. he a hot artist yeah. right now you know what? stop so the big shine too he yeah. got a show going on right now Downtown. Oh, does he work? Yeah, yeah, shout out to Big Sean. But I think it's at the Fox. I, I, I still gotta keep it real. I don't think he got a classic album. Um, yeah, shout the Wit too. I saw Wit hopping off the tour bus uh, earlier today. Oh yeah, what's up, Wit? Yeah, yeah, that girl, uh, local chick, Nisha and Shay. She opened it up. Oh okay. Yeah, so you know she worked with. Mm-hmm. You know us, man. Hit yeah, us up. Yeah, shout the Wit, man. The oh, notes, all that. Uh, but, uh, Chance yeah, the yeah. Rapper album was great. But it wasn't classic either. I just got into Chance, and Chance, I know I'm that an old coloring nigga. book. That I, me too. Like I don't I like these got, new names. I just like got that, into but, them last year, so yeah. I'm I'm behind. That coloring book was out cold, but I just can't call it classic. Yeah, and I'm going to the show next month too, man. I don't even know none of his songs, but I'm going to the concert. Dog. <laughs> he got some cuts on there. That same. Um, Mostly that every song on there got a feature oh, artist yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Last ten years, I can't say it's been a classic. And the one thing too, man, like, and I'm not making excuses for the newer generation. I mean, the music just needs to be better in a lot of cases. But when it comes to like rating these albums and the local guys, and I mean not local guys, but the the the, you know, the classic argument and this song better than that one, we in a different headspace as 34, 33 year olds. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. we don't have the time to really sit around and listen to an album front to back. Like when all those albums, like Doggy Style. And, um, Biggie's joints, Tupac's joints, even Bone and those guys. Like my lifestyle at that point was hooping, playing video games, and listening to music. That's all I had to do and with my it. whole day. So I can delve into an album and and, and learn the lyrics, right, and right. I know what I know the beat drop at this point. And the, you know what I'm saying? That's how I kind of learn how to produce records as well. And like now, a new album come out, dog. It'd be three months before I hear it. Right. By that point. The hype that been built up around it so much to where she is forced to I'm like, man, everything yeah, now yeah. is like it's on to the next one. Like you can't sit yeah, with an album it, for and I was just gonna a say couple that. months. Like after like Future drop an album, that should have be burning up hot for three weeks, but now everybody waiting for the next one. Because mm-hmm. it's an ADD market, it's an yeah. on-demand market, and the delivery system, like you said, was back then it was a lot different. You had to get a CD and pop it in and listen mm-hmm. to it. Right now, everything is accessible. Yep. Everything is accessible. You got Whenever like you, you said, want it. Futures shit just dropped right then and there. And then right next week you got Drake's new shit or whoever. You this know most what I'm saying? Right go next round. to each other. This most recent go round. Like Kendra just dropped that shit on Friday. He did. Right. His just album like, comes holy out next shit. week. You know Future put out two albums within I wanna say one or two weeks too. Just yeah, last week. He, did. he, he put did. out the one, yeah. like you said, yeah. everybody was going yeah, nuts. And then he did and he put yeah. another one out. It's an on demand delivery system. Yeah. Everybody got I'm, ADD. You know what? If, if y'all can correct me or if y'all feel differently. No, we not fact checking. Well, just if y'all feel differently. <laughs> Unless I know. I <laughs> haven't I think the last classic album that was released. And we talking about rap. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Just I'm all right. I think the last classic album that was released, and y'all let me know if I'm wrong or if y'all feel something different, was probably the the game, the documentary, the first one. Uh, the, shit, what was that? Two thousand. Yeah, I didn't think of albums. But, albums. but I'm just saying, like that yeah, was probably the like last one that I could think of. No, everything after that has been garbage. Well, it ain't been garbage, but it ain't. I haven't heard any classics since the documentary. Hmm. So I'm not going to call this one years. album a classic, but I really liked it. Matter of fact, it's the last album that I liked of this nigga, uh, American Gangster. But see, that came out after it that. Come out, yeah. But I really liked American Gangster. I'm not going to yeah. go so far as to call it a classic. The only classic he got to but me it was is one of the, his better albums. The only J classic? That's nah, the only one. I think Ooh, we right, like, I get think, it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, say, let's get into say, it. Uh, volume one was my favorite. And Jay not even my favorite artist, but I'm gonna have, no, to, I'm gonna have to step in on that one. I, Blueprint was it was his only classic to me. Oh. First of all, the first one, Reasonable Doubt, that was all New York shit. Like you didn't even hear about that album because Pocket was still popping. Yeah, I, love, I mean, unless you was unless yeah. you was out in New York, so you can't even you, tell me yeah, that was a classic yeah. because it couldn't even overcome them niggas. And then the first well, one, I mean, shit, a lot of niggas couldn't overcome. Them. Yeah, I'm saying, was, but then, and then like Volume One, I, no, don't get me time. wrong, I'm a Jay Z fan. I like Jay Z. Volume One was cold, <clears> but I don't think I think Blueprint. That was my favorite album. I think Blueprint, oh, like certified Blueprint. Help. Blueprint. I wouldn't say that because he had to come out with a version too. And well, because, no, he just no. Did you're talking that, about the blueprint shit. too. No, the first one was that the blueprint, blueprint too. He came it, out with a version too. Yeah, he yeah, had yeah. The no, double disc and that was the truck. Just the, the blueprint with the blue cover. Right. Yeah, I remember yeah. The blueprint. That that to me I didn't like is Jay Z's only. Yeah, classic. blueprint was okay to me. That's his only. Classic. I, I, I wouldn't I call that he, a classic. I think he got three. I think he got three. I'll take. I'll take. I'll take reasonable doubt. The first blueprint, and um and volume two. Yeah, I, I was about to say volume, volume one and volume Hard Knock two was Life. classics. Hard Knock Life was yeah. from front. That that's the put it like this. That was the first Jay Z album where it blew him up. He, I first of all, yeah, that's his biggest album to date. Mm-hmm. But I ain't skipped one joint on there. Even the one with Kid Capri. I would Capri, say volume one and really volume two me. was his best albums. If he had classics, it would be out of those two. I, I, I get Jay them three. I'm gonna have to go with the Blueprint. I don't think he got three though. That's yeah. I don't think he got three either. But I give, him, I give him the three. If if it was any arguable one, argue you know that word, it would be volume <laughs> one or volume two. Okay, and to Jay, me. And Jay no, 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 no. right, right. I mean, and that's all it is I for mean, people. Yeah. Out but we're not going back that far. I don't even know how. Well, how did Jay Z come up? Who brought him up? Me. G, you man. Stop I forgot. I, 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 I forgot. I, back for, that far. I forgat <laughs> where, back where, that far. where it popped out of, but yeah. Oh, because no, no, no. I think I brought it up because he was talking about the game, and I said oh, I really like American game. Which yeah, so that's what's, on what's me. Classic that's me and my. No, nah, no, nah, it's all good. I mean, shit. Hey, that's how it happens, dog. You uh-huh. bring up one thing, and then we spin <laughs> out of control. You no, know, nah, but yeah, uh, life, I, it's shit. Just trying to think of a timeline standpoint, I can't really think nothing of nothing no. since the game, the documentary. I could think of. Ooh, and if nothing's ooh, coming to my head years. right now, then it probably isn't. I said it's been over ten years, like since you heard a yeah, classic that's that you gave. Oh well, you know, I, I'm not gonna say that. And as much as this nigga crazy as hell right now, and I don't really fuck with that nigga like that. Kanye. It's Kanye. 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 Shit, that yeah. one with the roses on it. That shit was dope. What was damn? Which one was that? Was that? Diamonds and Forever and all of that, that on there. Second, College man. Dropout was you sweet, know too. What? You know College what? Dropout came I'm out with before. You yeah, that was the first no, one. It came out before album. Game. I'm though. with you that. Did it? That, yeah, yeah, it came out that, here before. That came game. out before, though. But, yeah. yeah, his first album was a classic. The first album was classic. That yeah, shit. that came okay. out the year before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That one was a classic. But that was before Game 2. So, yeah, okay. Like I said, I'm... What was the second one called? The second one's called. It, it all got something. Late, to do with late registration. Yeah, late registration. That yeah. one was dope. That one yeah, was. That, was dope. that one was dope. But, but like I said, I, I don't the timeline that far back. You are amazing for remembering that. I, it gets muddled to me. Shit. And, yeah, that's and, that's, and, that's, that's, that's too many years, shit. I don't even know. But you know what though? It's to bad. your point though, 2005. I mean, before that, Napster and all that had start kind of popping out, and LimeWire and all them sites where you could download shit illegally. So 2005 kind of. Was the beginning of what we see now, with the 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 right now era, where you know mm. you could just hop on there, get an album. You right. ain't gotta anticipate the, the release That's date and all that. Yeah, started. YouTube started right, to come right. around and be bigger than ever. So, at least from my my point of view, I kind of I was still listening to stuff, but I wasn't in my mind frame of oh, let me go get this album, let me sit down and listen to it front to back. I was in college too at this point, so. 
I ain't really had the money, time, or luxury to just sit around and listen to all of the albums. So it might be some shit that came out. I just can't remember. Hey, you hey, know, I, that's what it boils down to me. I just can't fucking remember I, 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 that far. I, 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 it, the, I, I, the waters I, I, get real muddy yeah. <laughs> a few years back. I don't remember. And then also, I, um, I, I had, I mean, personally, I had started getting to groups that was a little bit lesser known at that point too, because like, you you had access to knowing about them now, like like yeah, Little Brother, yeah. and mm-hmm. and I was listening to Murs real heavy, and all this other stuff that was kind of like under the radar, but people really knew about it, like fucking um, what uh, Mad well, Lib and those guys. Hot, hot second, what was his name? Prince. Uh, what's his name? Cool Prince or Cool? No, Cool Sahara Keith. Prince. No, Cool oh. Keith or. Was it was that? a cool Keith. Was it cool yeah, Keith? Cool Keith was back in there. Cool, yeah, cool yeah Keith. but no, it was another nigga. I forget his name. Whatever. Mm-hmm. It was another nigga that got hot for a hot second. But, yeah, so many know. guys that came and went, man, and, and that's just the era we live in. It is outside of music, movies, TV, mm-hmm. all that stuff just come and go, boom. If if it ain't a if it don't make a big splash real quick, it's kinda oh, over. Hell yeah, you, you know had mean? people come through the game down south to Houston <clears throat> movement with Chameleon there and I love the Houston Paul Wall. Paul Wall. Uh, I love the Houston movement more than the than the Slim Thug, than the New Slim Orleans Thug. movement. I tell you that. You know, all them cats Pro ain't gonna like Pro looking at me and, crazy. Uh, <laughs> you said you like the Houston movement more than the New Orleans no, movement. No, I agree. Well, because I already told you how I feel about cash money. I didn't like no limit. limit. Head, I was you know. on no limit, but you know, I... I respect no as an, a grown man now. I respect the no limit hustle. I respect hustle. Master P as a grown man now. I respect the the click, like the the fact that they had a click and everything but was there. I, no but limit pushed out one let, hell of a classic let, though. They got a couple um, to me. Nah, they have no, one, and it was nah, called Unpredictable. Nah, that well, that's with. that's probably the best album. Nigga. That was the no, best no, shit no. ever, nigga. They had a couple, bro. I mean, they had a couple to a lot but, of people. But, don't but get me wrong. Cordell, Cordell was a yeah, was a no was limit a, head. Yeah. Now I tell you oh, this, yeah. and, and real I, quick, I, shout out to Cordell. I don't know how the fuck you be having puppies and shit in there, but we heard that shit. What? And, yeah, this nigga playing with his puppy on the fucking end. Why he in no. prison and shit? What? I don't know what the I fuck's ain't going heard on, about man. That shit. But well, when I'm you get out, that. nigga, you gonna hear this shit too. I'm not <laughs> and don't say that. shit else about Mike, nigga. I heard no, that bullshit. This nigga, uh, <laughs> nigga said puppies. This is no limit shit though, dog. Like. I was fucking with No Limit because I was in love with the beats. I was in love and with And that's the, cool. Wait, with, with KLC. But KLC, um, that nigga ain't made a bad beat in 20 years. I, I fucked with all that shit. And when Snoop got over there, it was a rap. But like, see, that's yeah, what I'm, I'm saying. That's why I was like, yo, I respect. Uh, shout to Carolina, man. I hope I win some money. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I respect the fact that they had everything tight like that. They had all their artists was under the umbrella. Their producers was under the umbrella. All the movies that they did had act. All the actors was niggas in their crew. Maybe a few actors from the outside. You know what I'm saying? I like that that structure they had. But the music, <laughs> the music now, you know what did it for me, bro? Good. You uh, know, no limit. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you know terrible. what did it. You know what did it for me <laughs> because terrible. when No Limit was at its height, I was in high school. Yeah, and th- a motherfucker came up to me and told me that Silk the Shocker was one of the coldest rappers out. Did you stop and talking I to that said, motherfucker? Yes, because I'm all like, I can't argue with this nigga because it's gonna make me look stupid. How in the fuck is Silk the Shocker one of the but coldest you know, rappers? And a, he was dead fucking serious. But yeah, it's the same was. thing now, like Prisoner nowadays. The moment. If you talk to these younger niggas now, they'd be talking about how cold Young Thug and all these other new niggas yeah. are. And it's and then to us, we'll be like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you talking It's just a taste difference. It's just... I'm like That's Silk exactly the Shocker, right. bro. Yeah. This but see, you also, grew up listening to real lyricists, people that could actually rap. This like nigga, not only that, and, this uh, nigga was off DLCs. Beat. <laughs> we yeah. know that. We yeah. know that. Person, you foremost. know what I'm saying? We know that, but but you also gotta think about who you talking to as well. I don't know the guy, obviously. That was you're he talking a younger to. nigga than you? No, we was in the same bro. <clears throat> right, but there's some yeah. people that even at this age, they they, they prisoners of the moment. Dog. Right, like, they want to be around the hottest thing. They yeah, want to be like, involved in that. Like people you said, forget about the shit that happened yesterday. Yeah, because today's news is this guy doing this, and right. then tomorrow you talk to him again, they're gonna be like, "Well, I ain't say that." So and so the hottest, you know right, what I'm right. saying? So I, I remember, man, um, back then, man, I had. We a, used to call that bandwagon riding, just to call yeah. you younger audience out there. Same that's thing. What it really is, man. Call <laughs> what it really is, dick riding. Come on, yeah. I mean, dick riding. <laughs> Okay, that's the that's the explicit term. Yeah, yeah, but and it's cool to be fans of this person and then that person, but don't go too far right, to the extreme. Don't, don't, like yeah. he the coldest nigga to ever just because walk out the studio. Right now, like they on, hot bro. right now. You just now all of a sudden that they your best and favorite, and you got so much yeah, shit. Yeah, come on, say bro. good about 
Yeah. Let me ask y'all this, because we all producers here, <clears throat> and whatever, uh, if there's any producers out there listening. Shouts out. This is uh, something. So, you got Beats by the Power, mm-hmm. and then you had Diddy's Hitman. Mm-hmm. Hitman. You picking the Hitman? Yep. I'm going to pick the Hitman, too. However... Ain't nobody in the Hitman better than KLC. And that's my put, thing. That's I'm my Trump card. Like that. That's had, my Trump card. But you know right what? There. KLC was like Barry Sanders. Yeah, but exactly. The exactly. Hitman was like the Dallas Cowboys. I was gonna say. Okay. I was gonna <laughs> so, say. I was okay. gonna say KLC was like Jordan in the '80s. It, right. Okay. Yeah. Cause he you know cold as fuck. Cause, cause he cause cold. Around yeah, but the guys uh, around him. Because the Hitman you had <laughs> replaceable. You had, you had you had Stevie J. Yeah. yeah. Them guys was talented. You had Stevie J. D Dot. D Dot in there. Diddy. Um, I mean, I guess he, you would call him the, the, the leader of the Earlier on, you had Easy Mo B, who did yeah. Bi- yeah. basically Biggie whole Biggie, first album. Yeah. 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 Um, but, man. But they, but you think about, like, KLC, though. when you listen to... Yeah, but that's it, though. No, All right, man, we'll put it like this. Had, put it like this. The other this ones is, had some good tracks, but KLC was far. Yeah. That nigga was... This is, this is kind of round out the argument, niggas. too. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather have the Bad Boy catalog or the No Limit catalog? If you can only have one in your stash. I don't, I don't think I'm losing with either. Well, Master P sold a lot I'm of pers- records. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying you as a lose fan. No like, oh, as a fan. Oh, like, oh, okay. If, if, you, if, if I'm sending you on a road trip, oh, you I got you. either only I got have you. No Limit joints or Bad Boy joints Let's the see, whole you know way what, bro? back. First of all, you know do you know how big your No Limit catalog is going to be? But you know what, bro? <laughs> But it's a lot of wax. <laughs> but you know what, bro? The majority of it. You know what, bro? You know what, bro? I'm a different type of nigga because I'm a nigga. I didn't even like Biggie first album. Uh, oh, that's crazy. Uh, I didn't. That was crack. <laughs> that's crazy. That was crazy. I, I think I got you. in trouble for listening Damn, to that one so have, much. I, production I team, we might have to three think. I didn't. I, well, let me tell you this. I'm about, I think, to, I'm about I, to be 80s George. Let me tell you this. It's going to be just... Fuck G, I think, it's gonna be no, low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Biggie's first album was just overblown. They made it seem like it was like the second coming of Christ, and I'm all like, "Get the I fuck mean, out!" You know, it was a it was a New York thing trying to get back their life after the West Coast and stole their shine. That's, That's what that was shit was about. To me, so dog. they had to blow it up as much as now, they possibly life, now could. Now the second one. I love it. I mean, yeah, no, the don't get me one wrong. Yeah, better. the second one definitely yeah, surpassed no, it all day. But I take the first one yeah, all day. The first one had some classics on it. Well, we talking ninety four when that came out. Yeah, you I had mean, Juicy, you had um, yeah, yeah, had Juicy you had the Big Papa, you had, you had Big Warning, Papa, you had Warning, uh, hell shit, yeah. you had the uh, yeah, that first album, was Unbelievable, all, right. all that shit. Oh, man. but you know what? I know we are going way off track because we told ourselves we wasn't going back to them oh, goddamn you're going days. To the 80s? No, no, no. I'm just saying in general, we wasn't <laughs> uh, supposed to be talking about Biggie and Pac and all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, well, you know, but we can't forget about even though we. We're going to get back to the current state of uh, affairs, but we can't forget about Bone. Bone, Bone came in the game Bone, and shut shit down. Yeah, yeah. And that was, I, that was, I don't think nobody's ever going to do what Bone did again. No, no. Not the way they did it. And not, and I'm not, not even talking the about the singing it. thing. I'm talking about right. coming out the gate, they first three joints, I want to yes. say, yeah. went Dumb numbers, like did yeah. dumb numbers, and like, and they had like big ass songs, big singles huge on songs. each one. Yes, if not, if not two singles on each one, they at least had one huge record. Yeah. With Crossroads obviously being the biggest of biggest of them all. Yeah, but Bone came out the gate on something else, dog. And and for them to come out the way they did, cause I don't, mm-hmm. I thought they was lightweight on some devil worshiping when they. First I mean, came I think out. everybody kind of did with the you know more murder and all of that. All right, but for them to switch it up the way they did and for find them, even more success for them to you know what what that what was the greatest thing about them for a group like that, like you mm-hmm. said, them coming out, they getting the impression that they might be on some old devil worshiping shit. But they transcended over into the white audience. They did, which is for a hard, group like that, which, which is hard to do. Period. Group like that, it's very hard for any artist, mm-hmm. let alone some hood niggas from Cleveland. Yeah, look like they talking, talking about no murders. murders. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? BG and shit. Exactly. You know? Tupac had to die to transcend over to the white <laughs> right. audience. That should you know put what I'm him saying? in a whole other life. So, but he had to, you know, right. go, we, take, get taken out. We had a me and my boy Ronnie. He used to have his argument back in the Shout day. Shout out, Ronnie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ronnie down there in Kentucky. Um, Wu-Tang or Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh. 
My and personal preference is Bone. My, you talking I, about us just straight up like groups. rapping or which group was better? I go Bone, Bone. or Wu Tang. Mine was Bone. He he was a Wu Tang. Wu Tang was kind of mm. like the same thing. Everybody in Wu Tang was first of all. I don't know all the members of Wu Tang. It was just a bunch of niggas off the street. Sometimes <laughs> they was a part of it. Sometimes it wasn't. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't today know. I'm Wu -Tang. You know what I'm saying? But they had some classic members. Obviously Method Man, Ghostface, yeah. them that Raekwon. But everybody in Wu Tang was not cold. I think. Not no, to me. Definitely. I, it, it's like that New York shit, like how they was going up Biggie first album. That's what I'm saying. Biggie man. was definitely way bigger than better than Wolf Yeah, no, he was, but well, I we just, gotta understand. Well, Bone had New a better York track is gonna blow up everybody because yeah. New York got 14 million strong. Yeah. So yeah, I mean yeah. shit. Bone got a way better catalog. Yeah, I'm about to say, record, yeah, they got a first of all, they got a yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, DJ Unique was the shit. Can we know, put the, yeah, know, shout out to and DJ you know Unique. Whatever, whatever you're doing you right at, now. Man. I'm glad you brought you that one up. You're one of my favorite producers. I'm glad he brought that up. DJ, DJ Unique or RZA? DJ Unique. Oh, DJ Unique. That's RZA nice. is that's, that's, RZA is RZA was okay. RZA is hit or miss. Yeah. Meaning, that meaning, is the perfect shit. Meaning, I, if I really like, if I like That's a RZA track, I really like it. Yep. If I now, don't, it's it off. Is touche. I, I, I you to, said it the I best. I have to say this, though. If it was DJ Unique, I don't really, it's it not that many I no, didn't like. Well, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for Crossroads, because Crossroads is the biggest. Oh, there I mean, is. yeah, there's some. I'm right. just saying that's bigger than any Wu Tang song too. I mean, but, hell yeah, but so that's saying, bigger than a whole bunch of niggas' yeah. songs. If yeah. it wasn't for Crossroads, Rissa had Cream, which was like a still like classic. I mean, it is. Classic. Yeah, no, it's definitely classic. No, but I, but I think he described the best though. Rissa was hit or miss. You yeah. either going he was hot or cold. He didn't have no in between yeah. ever. It was either really hot yeah. or it was really. That's bad. how I feel about Jay Dilla too. Shout out Dilla, we all from I mean, Detroit, yeah, all I that, mean, but, but that's just real when shit. I, when I, he was I on, he was on. Yeah, and some of that shit was just too left. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know who else I feel like that about? Kanye. When Kanye make a hot track, he make a dope ass track. But when he make a bad track, go. like all of that album go. that he came out with a couple years ago. Here we oh, go. That was all Jesus. bullshit. Here Jesus. we go. It's coming. Jesus. It's yeah. coming. No, no. I, I didn't just, like Jesus at all. Mm. No, I'm just saying, when Kanye make a dope ass right, track, right, right. he make a dope ass track. But then he'll make a some whack shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. it even up. That's all I'm that's yeah. how I see Jay Dilla, uh, who is we talking about? RZA, RZA, same thing. But DJ Unique, I'm not gonna call him KLC, but shit, he was close. Hey, what about this? No, K no, DJ Unique might be. I don't know. What? The only reason DJ Unique might not be talked about like that is because he ain't did shit in twenty years. People, well, he probably. <laughs> well, see the thing, he probably has, but he ain't yeah, had nah, nothing we don't big. Know about it. Like, right, right. like RZA been Wu Tang since they came out mm. until today. DJ and not Unique's, only that, RZA was a part of the click, and he was a rapper too. That too, and he came out with his own. Unique's shit. reach was the his the extent of his reach was Bone. Right, so that's it. he yeah. didn't really have another group that no, we follow. Not that we know of. That right, that we really was like. And, oh, and he, another he thing here that I don't see. When you got the producers, and he might have, like you said, he might have did. We, we don't know. I but, like this little switch up to the producers, though. Yeah, but DJ Unique, you never heard, or I never heard nobody like, oh, I need to go get a DJ Unique beat. Even back yeah, then, well, it a, was people wanting RZA's beats other than Wu-Tang. Right, members. right. No doubt. Sure, sure, sure. So that's what I'm saying when, it, when you say RZA and DJ Nobody was really looking for DJ Unique. But that's because... But well, we wasn't in the room either. Exactly. So. That's what I said. I don't, yeah, I don't know, know, but that's and what The way his contract like. might have been set up, it wasn't nobody going to get one of his beats neither. We don't know. Well, how. hell, he might have been like... Them had he might have been like, I don't want to do this shit no more. Or that. Because y'all ain't paying or me. That. He could have been that. on some Manny Fresh. I was about to say, he could have been on some Manny Fresh shit. Y'all niggas ain't paying me. But whatever reason, you got to understand too, though, this is New York. <laughs> New York got a lot more avenues to get heard and get business done than somebody like DJ Unique. Not that I even know where that nigga from. Right. But just, his market ain't as big as somebody like I'm RZA. Just, uh, yes, I'm Cleveland. Saying? I don't know. <laughs> I think he's from Cali. I think uh, yeah. Easy found him or something. Okay. But um, let's just throw our marbles on, on the table, man. Top five producers. Just Blaze, number one. Um, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go with that's crazy. <laughs> are you, that's, are you that's, serious? That's just Blaze no more. Yeah, man. As long as you say just Blaze is over Kanye. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Shots fired at G hold Money. On, Shots fired at G on, Money on, real quick. Shots out to Just Blaze. Shots out to Just Blaze. Shots out to Just Blaze. I love, I love I'm Dre, I'm all that shit. I love that too. That's going too far. Wait I love you too, Just Blaze, but you're not over Dre. But that's cool. You got but I'm about to tell you, you right here. It's yeah, a guy in here just right now over, who thinks wait. Kanye is better than you, dog. Over Kanye I'm going to just put that out there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 
For real, bro? Yes, yes. Oh, but yeah, that's Dre? crazy. That's, oh, I got that's ballsy. Dre, I got, now, Dre I is the most iconic. Without, wow. Without getting upset, but we talking, I have to respect your opinion because it's ballsy. I mean, that's I a mean, ballsy I mean, move. Yeah, it's, it's, we, it's, we, it's, we, it's, I miss I like Just Blaze. He not better than Timberland. Yeah, to me, that's what I'm not better than. <laughs> he not hey, better than the Neptune. I, I don't think just he Blaze. in my top five. You just rounded out my top five, but I got him. I, mean, at, I, think, I got him at the top. I think all, with the exception of just Blaze, I think everybody got no Dre Timberland. No, I got just Blaze. Uh, well, baby. no, no, he's not he my not, top five. He, wait, 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 wait. When we say producers, we are producers. Just strictly talking about we talking about hip hop, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not no, going to the Quincy no, Jones no, no, and the Burke Backerack. No, because see, that's a whole. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Okay, bro, let me. I'm gonna throw a name at you. And you, because you, you said I just play. And we talking right, about. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me back up a minute. Wait, 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 Hold wait, that wait. thought. Let him finish his top five. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. We just talking about. And this, this, I, the order at this point, I, I'd have to sit with. Oh, the so order. this is not order. No, no I got him. I order. got him one. But oh, I'm saying, but after he's other, in order. The, he other, says, the so. other four, I'd have to like. Okay, we're going to make a rule right now. You can't change your top five for the next. This is all etched in stone. Right now, today, <laughs> you cannot it. change your top five. Well, if for Pharrell drops something dumb hot tomorrow, <laughs> no, I got Pharrell's been it. dropping dumb hot shit for twenty years. Hey, so. but if he come with that one, <laughs> he did. It was if called he, happy. If he come and with that, that one. but see, that's the thing, though. See, I see. I don't really be looking at like. The success rate, because obviously Dre would be above all them if we was going off like success. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he'd be above Pharrell and them from the numbers wise. Dre, you saying he got decades? Numbers? He got decades, yeah. but he might not song. have more hits. He might not have more actual number ones than Pharrell and them. No, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't and for you got people who got that many, it's Tommy in here. Y'all fact no, check I'm that. We could be wrong. Yeah, I, I sure have more. Yeah, I don't know that either. He probably don't have more number ones, but he definitely sold more records. Yeah, probably yeah, cumulative. Yeah, from yeah. What, yeah, from what yeah he produced, but the first part of him, he ain't getting paid and, off and of, so it don't like, matter. Off of Eminem mm. alone. Shots fired. He probably, I love you, Dre. I'm just putting that out there. You my number one. He know that. He know he get paid off. He probably sold more records off of Eminem alone. But again, oh, yeah, my yeah, criteria yeah. is okay. My criteria for everything, dog, which is why, like half the time, I don't be production in with people. It's just the straight production. Pro- how I feel about you take it back to the actual composition, right? I'm not really worried about like how to. Drum how sound it, how it or the, oh yeah, like how it. No, I feel you. I'm the right there with you with that. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Because no, obviously you. Timberland is probably oh. bigger, you know, from transcending well, oh, I'm, the I'm different genres. I'm gonna throw a name at you. I'm gonna throw a name at you. Well, let him finish his list. Okay, no, yeah, no, go put the name out there. DJ Quick. Yo, DJ yeah, Quick. I got is a, yeah, DJ Quick to me. He dope, but DJ Quick is dope. But see, again, you know. That's a you know guy what? right there. And that, I'm going underground. I'm not even going like Timberland and all right, that. Right, but that's no, a no, guy no. right there that if I threw that name out there in a... And, and what's not dope about show. DJ Quick, just and shout out to DJ Quick, that's a real musician right there. That too. That's yeah. hard to... That hey, too. Uh, outside of Pharrell and Chad, none of these niggas that we probably about to name is actual real musicians. That too. I mean, hell, Too Short actually played instruments on some of his Touche, he did. He played he the did. bass on a he few did. of his albums. No, no but, doubt. Again, like I could not, not with y'all because I know I can have this conversation with y'all. But mm-hmm. if I was in a room full of guys who just casual music listeners and fans, I throw DJ Quick out there. They'd be like, "What?" First of all, they'd be like, "Where the fuck? Who exactly? You, what the like fuck? a lot of people don't know Quick had an album. I think either fifteen or sixteen. I can't remember, but he had a song on there that's so dope to me. I I listen to it like almost every fucking day. But nobody knows this song. It's called Love of My Life, and it's simple, but it's sweet as hell, and it's quick that we know. But you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I just be going off a. Of, how I feel about the shit, mm-hmm. as opposed to did it go right, over you just popular? Go off popular opinion. Is it in the arena? Yeah, 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 and, that, and that's why I well, brought that's up cool. DJ Quick. That's cool. Ain't because, nothing wrong with that. All right, well, let me do this. Let me give you get, five. First of all, mm-hmm. finish your list. Let's let me, go. Let me get we you, keep interrupting. Let me give you five, and mm-hmm. I, I have to. I'm gonna give you outside of just Blaze. I'm gonna give you Blaze one. one, right? But I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. Crazy ballsy. I'm gonna give you four that's in there, but I don't. I'm not giving you an order. I jumped off the cliff with that one, man. I'm not giving you an order. I got okay. Blaze one. No order from this point. Uh-huh. Dre. Uh huh. Timbaland. Okay. Easy Mo B. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. See what I'm saying? See what I'm okay. saying? No, no, go keep going. And then I got. Who that last spot? He did do Temptations though. Man, my favorite Tupac song. Man, that's ever. my favorite too. Uh, Shouts out to Easy Mo B for Temptations. Oh, then after that, sample or no sample, that shit is nuts, bro. You killing me, man. <laughs> then, then after that, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with the Neps. 
Naps. Pro, you killing me? Yeah, okay. Man. First of all, your number one pick is absolutely ballsy. I That's, think his number um, four pick was more ballsy. Mo B is dope as He yeah, is. Yeah, dope. but he put Just Blaze at number one. But we, Niggas hey, put man. Michael Jordan as number Shop one. Shout to Just Blaze. I'm going uh, to have to get up with him. I'm going to have to be on, like, DJ Quick. Man. All right, all right. All right. Yo, now you go right, next. Yeah, so yeah, you get passionate let's, about let's, it. You go yeah, next. You go up there with the five. <laughs> Everybody know who I can kind of predict your five. But go Dr. Ahead. Dre okay. is number one. Not G and Low. Huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just that talking. was like that was like a. Uh, I'm talking about who actually. That's like, I'm just, that was retired. I'm fucking like, with y'all. It's, it's, it's yeah, I'm fucking with y'all. Dr. Dre, okay. Timberland, okay. The Neptunes, uh, number four. That's when it get kind of four. I might put DJ Kanye Quick. Is one of yours, ain't it? Gotta be. He huh? think he better than just Blaze. No, he is. Yeah, number oh, four. Oh, that's crazy. Hold on, man. Shit, you, gotta have, you gotta have Kanye. Nah, he, he said that already. You just he said he is. better than just Blaze. Yeah, but I'm okay. I got. I might DJ Quick number uh, four. Okay. And then number five, I might. I might have to put my boy Manny Fresh, man. I'm gonna have to you put, put Manny, Manny fresh. over over, over Lil Kanye. John. Yeah. You I put, put Manny, you think Manny John. better than yeah, Lil John? Yeah. Top ten though, to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Lil John. You think Manny better than Lil John? Yes. You think so too? I think he's better. See, I just Manny Fresh. Oh no, then don't. And shout out to Manny Fresh. Yeah, you Manny, and again, and again, Manny Fresh was doing albums. No, no, no let's not get it twisted. I didn't say. Albums too. I didn't say that Manny Fresh didn't work hard. <laughs> Little John, like, we I already mean, know. He, he put out about ten albums. albums. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, yeah. all that shit went through him. We already know <laughs> who had the most work on they plate. Yeah, all that, that shit, yeah, no everything doubt. that came from yeah. Cash Money was Manny Fresh. But Little John had some fucking. He know he has. He got fresh. more. He but got just more like just like he said, yeah, he got more. Like 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 Pro's opinion to no no. I'm not shitting on that. That's what I'm saying. Right, right, right. I'm not shitting on. But, but like, I am shitting on that Kanye over just playing shit. That's bullshit. I thought Kanye was in your five, but nah, apparently he not. Wanna, you know, he wanted, he coming up, though. He want to be in his five. <laughs> so yeah, right, right. He, he coming, coming up. up. If I was to, <laughs> game, <laughs> but, no, if I was to keep going, like, after Manny Fresh. Me 10. Then it 10. Would, oh, yeah, after Manny Fresh, it would be then Lil John, Okay. And okay. then uh, Swiss. Then Kanye. Ooh. So you got Swiss over Kanye. I got so Swiss. So Swiss is over just Blaze, too. Yeah. That's Ooh. crazy as hell. Yeah, Swiss, uh, you know I'm like why? opening up another beer. Yeah, to uh, me, you know why? Too hard. It. Swiss, mm-hmm. Swiss changed the game, bro. He came in with his own. Well, shit, all the producers we named changed the game. Yeah, at some much. point pretty in much. their career. Yeah, but Swiss, he, his shit was. Dmx changed the game. Swiss was a part of it. Swiss shit was. Some, and Swiss is dope. I, I like Swiss. Like, I was I like Swiss. You know I like Swiss. <laughs> it's on, he, he, shout him, out to Swiss. Let me say, Swiss, Swiss. I'm gonna put this Swiss out there for everybody in the world. And do you know what I'm about to say, Swiss? No oh, disrespect oh, to you and your shit. family life, oh, but shit. Oh, shit. yeah, the Alicia Keys thing. I just want you to know, nigga, from one life. <laughs> yeah, you, Swiss, you got me on that one, nigga. Swiss, uh, and, yeah, Swiss, yeah. and the Neptune was probably the only ones that I heard they beats, and I was like, what the fuck? What type of sounds are they using, dog? See, Swiss, Swiss to me, yeah, uh, Swiss didn't make you do that. Eh. He did, but it took but it, it took me a while. To, like the way they was, it arranged. took me a while to get like, into Timberland. Like early Timberland, I was like, mm. I think when he started working with Aaliyah, then I was like, okay. Yeah. I just didn't like what Timberland. I, I think was what to Timberland did to no, the drum never, program, no, and, no, and no, I don't think shit. nobody really like, liked Timberland. Yeah, I think. But let's, let's, <laughs> I don't let, think nobody like. Let's Timberland. say this. Shout out to you, Timbo. A couple years ago, we went to the we went to Club Blue to see your ass. We didn't get a chance to actually meet you hand in hand, but. We came all, up there just hey man, a lot of dumb we, shit happened. And we're going to shout, yeah. shout out Timberland, man. Listen, Timberland came from the Devontae camp. He studied under Devontae from Jodeci, man. And Devontae don't never get his just due, man. Because I mean, he ain't put out enough. That's all. But we is. talking but about just rap shit. now, right now. We not going yeah. over into the R&B genre. Devontae, because if we went over to that, to that genre, another nigga that don't get his just due is J.D. Jermaine yeah. Dupri. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is a dope producer and he didn't made a look and a dope writer. Ton yes, he hits. is. Kind of hits. Yeah. yeah, Usher should thank the later part of his career. Well, when he transcended into that bigger market for Jermaine Dupri, right. and not just him, Thanks but a whole okay. bunch of niggas. Low, let's get your top five, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Top five. Okay, well we know Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. okay. uh, the Neptunes over Timberland. Yeah. Okay. Timberland. Okay. Uh, number what's this four? Mm-hmm. Number four. That's when it get tricky. Yeah, it does get tricky mm-hmm. for me. I ain't gonna lie. Number four. Who can I put number four? It's only one Two person you can put, left, man. man. Yeah, I know. Who do I want to put number four? You who, you, who you putting? Who you starting the game with? Come on, man. Huh. 
Who started that? You just that? said, you just said his name, man. You just said he's a musician. <clears throat> no, quick is. Quick is dope. I'm just going to let everybody remind you that that beat he did on the Black Album. Justify My Thug. It was yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, but DJ the, put your shoulder. What was the shoulder? That was crazy, line. too. That was crazy, too. We already named him. No, but um, that shit, Low Key, the other song on there was crazy. The one that Kanye did on there was we crazy. Know. Oh, no, don't do that, man. That don't the, do that. That was the only you one. You know what? I saw the documentary. When that fucking beat came on, and he had all them producers out there. When that one I came really on, want to put KLC up there, and I just <laughs> want you to know that KLC. Jay-Z was all like, what the fuck? Kanye, the only one who came in this bitch right. But if it wasn't, no limit has took you down, KLC. This is exactly why you're not in my top five. <laughs> hey, man. And it has nothing gotta, to do with you. You got to be with a winning team, baby. <laughs> on, no bro, limit. The, they had a high, Damn, what's high my year, four? too. What's, what's my four? four? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with um. You got the big dogs in there already. I'm gonna go with Lil John. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I, I, I respect that I, all the way. I'm, I'm gonna ahead. go with Lil John and then man, shout out to Pro. I'm going with Just Blaze. Just Blaze. Man, thank got you. Fucking classics, that dog. Nigga is Just cold. Blaze got classics, oh, dude. Out cold, dog. He out cold oh, with it. Out fucking cold, man. <laughs> just Blaze is dope. Me, dog. And again, top five. Again, we just going off me, of we just going off of just Blaze what like we my feel. Top five, dog. Oh, my, I'm sorry. And it's no I'm disrespect. To, no, I'm and it's, only one. Look, I guess. Let's get this straight. <laughs> let's get this straight. DJ Quick <laughs> is a phenomenal. Like I Beast. said, outside of the Neptunes on there, you are actually the only musician on that list. So let's and give didn't a shout make out to the top that. five. Shout yeah, out DJ I mean, Quick. This- <laughs> yeah. it, ain't, it ain't about, it ain't about if you can play five, instruments baby. or not, dog. You it's about the output. Five, you, 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 you cold, quick, and I respect you for everything. I, I really do. But all right, just Blaze got some. Now we go. We got some shit. Let's flip the script now. Let's uh-huh. let's flip the whole script. Let's go. Let's go R and B. Oh man, no, see this go, That's because it's gonna make you think. No, not yeah. really, because it's too hard. Why? Yeah, I mean, I... I Come on now. I don't I mean, know. I'm we so, know who number one is. Yeah, I don't Quincy. really know all the names, but... Uh, <laughs> Quincy. Quincy is number one. Is that your number one? Quincy? I mean, I, I'm trying to think of all the names right, all right now. Well, I, I'll start Prince it off. Quincy's number two. I started off. Even see, though it was see, producing his own shit, yeah. it was still number two. <laughs> I started off. Because, see, Quincy is like... We can come I'm talking about the 60s, 70s, 80s, that's 90s. Why he won. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, nobody even got the track record there. though. You want to you want to stick to an era, or or is it? Yeah, okay, it still would probably be Quincy unless you get to the nineties. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say yeah, all the way up until ninety. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm, just, the 90s. I'm just thinking like of all the music I've retained as far as R and B wise, Quincy would definitely be one. Fuck and then that, after sure. that, he got I, the baddest you know motherfucking. Uh, he got the baddest you know catalog. I'm, I'm, gonna give, I'm, I'm gonna give you five, but it ain't gonna be in order, which is, except for Quincy. So we got Quincy at one, and then after there's no order. Uh, I'm gonna go with R. Kelly. Um, I'm gonna go with Babyface. You know what? They, they ain't in my. I know. I'm backtracking. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to fucking Justice League. Right now, yeah. you niggas yeah. is one of my favorites. Right now, yeah. Shout out to Justice League. Y'all, y'all catalog ain't there yet, but it's getting there. Yeah, they um, yeah. Y'all but, uh, Quincy Jones, R. Kelly, Babyface. Um, that's that's three. Um, I'm gonna go with Prince. And again, we just talking about whose name is on the credit because yeah. we all know whoa. it's probably fifty. Whoa, 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 whoa. We know whoa, it's fifty whoa, whoa, whoa. session whoa. musicians. Oh, that's not shit. in order. No, it's not okay. In order. Let me all yeah. <laughs> calm down. Because uh, you said baby. baby face over fucking Prince. Too hard, uh, baby. baby face. So over and then, Prince. So I have, uh, so that's about, four. Uh, that's Prince, and then my. Did we say R. Kelly. Yeah, I said R. Kelly oh, and baby okay. face, Quincy, Prince, and then the Neptunes. For R. B. I I might have to say Stevie, man. Stevie I mean, would probably be my five. Yeah, Stevie is a that's a different yeah, type of nigga. Yeah, we're talking about yeah, forty that's years. That's a different type of nigga though. But I mean, years. we doing the same thing with Quincy, putting Quincy in there. It's just as long. All right, whatever. <laughs> where where Burke Bacharach at? Where fuck that? Where I Turner at? I Turner has hits. <laughs> yeah, see, oh, hey, oh, man. look, hey, real yeah, life though. Man. But they, no, all jokes aside, I Turner <laughs> has some hits. He did, yeah. but he you has know, some major hits. Hit. You know, we he hit we too. talking about. Yeah, hits. Shouts out to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, <laughs> yeah, man. Jam and Lewis. They don't get they just do enough Lewis either. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, you know, but they shit. They ran the eighties. They did. They yeah. did Janet yeah. albums. Yes, they, they did. did uh, they new edition. Any heartbreak. Yep. Yep. Shout out to Jimmy. They was the sound of that shit. Teddy Riley. Oh, shout out to Teddy Riley, man. Because you know I don't. People can fact check me, but. 
I know I heard the Neptunes used to work you was kinda they was kinda yeah. under your wing coming up on yeah. Yeah. So yeah, big shout out to Teddy Riley. Yeah. yeah, shout out to the people who always was under the niggas wing, like Teddy Riley and the Neptunes. Jermaine Dupree. Another that's our R and B yeah. nigga. We gotta put him in there. Neptunes mm-hmm. was all they was always fucking with Tribe called Tre- Quest. Um mm-hmm. shout out to Q Tip because that nigga beats Cole. And yeah, and then yeah. he was one of the first people to give uh the Neptunes a shot. Yeah, yeah. So, and Noriega. Yeah. Nori too. Oh, we already know. Um, yeah. yeah that, they, I think first, that's how they sound became. First hit. Yeah, yeah, super thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was, and shout yeah, out to Nori, man. I know you got your podcast and shit too, man. Yeah, yeah we're gonna be on that shit at some yeah, point. Yeah, at some you get point, big man. enough, we're gonna be there. All right, or right. come here, you know what I'm saying? One of well, one of us stop dissing just Blaze. Top <laughs> What y'all which y'all who y'all think is the, the top five R and B groups ever of all time? Oh, yeah, let's let's cut it Jackson off. Yeah, we gotta yeah, cut. We gotta we gotta <laughs> put a, We gotta five, put a, uh, the Jacksons, I mean, right. Michael Jackson, same <laughs> motherfucker. Right, right, right. The same motherfucker. All time, all time. I mean, you gotta Prince go. In the revolution. Yeah, I mean, you gotta go. No. Jacksons. Nah, the fuck. The revolution, no. Why they I'm not? talking about when I say a group, I mean like like a five multiple member, singers, yeah, saying? like that, like a five member group or something like that. Multiple. First of all. Fucking Lionel Richie and them, they were multiple singers. Commodore. The Commodores had more than one singer. No, they didn't. Yeah, they but did. what the fuck was their name? I don't no, know. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but like this, exactly. they was on the mic, but just because they Lionel was, led shit, every Lisa fucking Wendy was on the mic sometime. <laughs> so what the well, fuck are you talking about? Don't, y'all, don't be hating on the revolution. <laughs> well, listen, y'all want to go 90s R&B then? 90s R&B. Uh, that way you could pinpoint 90s. it. You could, you could kind of like... Shit, Boys to Men from... Boys to Man was yeah. They had they was bombers. Boys to Man was yeah. probably the the most successful, but my yeah. favorite was probably Jodeci. Jodeci, Jodeci. and it's crazy because Jodeci, they only had they had some dogs. They only had three albums, albums. Yeah. in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. put the one out a few years back, yeah. but them first two was so fire. It was just like damn, but they they came and went but so fast. The third fast, one though. was the best one to me. What was the show? The show that that was the third one. one. Like that. The one with uh, I love that one. I want to freak you. Yeah. Yeah. The hotel and the show. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, it wasn't really. Wasn't it side one and side two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it was. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, but uh, I'm going to tell you another group. <clears throat> they just didn't have a catalog. I already know. Yeah, Shy. Shy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Shy. That first Shy. album was a fucking Whatever classic. Whatever y'all doing right now. That, yes, that it was. That first album, nigga. it didn't have no bad song. No, it didn't. Like, I'm like. <laughs> Not to me. Yeah, they had some problems. In, but, uh, yeah, you had Boys to Men. You had, we said the 90s, right? Yeah. Boys and Men, Jodeci. Shy. When did Troop come out? Yeah, they was late eighties. Late eighties. Yeah, was high, a guy in high the, five. Eight five. Town. Eight yeah. Town. Town. That's yeah. Devonte again. Yeah. Uh, they, they they came and went so quick though. That's what my man when died. Did, um, he yeah. got killed in a car accident. When did uh what's the name of them? That was Jermaine Dupri and them. That was like the two thousands. No, no, no. Um, One twelve. Oh, you talking about Arby. Oh, Jagged Edge. Jagged, Jagged Edge. Edge was. That was they like might have snuck one in there in ninety nine or yeah. something like that. And like One Twelve too. One Twelve with a nine. One Twelve. One Twelve. One Twelve. They had some. They had hit songs. They had Cupid. But I don't think they was that good, especially the leader. They wasn't dog. that good. The leader was yeah, not good. No, we bro. saw him. Remember, he yeah. the ant guy. Yeah. Yeah. He looked like an ant. Yeah. Where was we at? Pontiac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. He was with the Jagged Edge nigga. Remember, his open there. Yeah, ant nigga. Yeah, they wasn't that good to me. No, nah, they, they had hits though. I can't front. Then he put them out there. But Jodeci, man, the way they, well, I see, you know, we, we just the re, we just relegating this shit to niggas. Let's not forget about TLC. Total, shout out to Total. Total couldn't sing, but they had hits. I, I fuck with Total. The one Escape, dog. Escape one check was fine. Hit. Escape actually had talent. Escape, they had Escape talent. T- TLC. TLC, yeah. 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 yeah, they was the first one to have that blend. And, and Vogue yeah. was oh, dope. And Vogue. Yeah. yeah. That's a group right there, yeah. dog. Right. Like, they, they, had they had all lead singers. They yeah. had, right, that was the but problem. But you know who that else had all the lead singers? They had potential, man. Wasn't they had... way bigger for longer. But they was mm-hmm. all wanted to be the lead. So. Escape, exactly. all of the girls in that group could sing, too. If they wanted to, could go lead. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and now that we know, Candy was one of the dopest writers. Yeah. The pen, yeah. Yeah, Escape, Oh, SWV. SWB yeah. had some tracks, yeah. bro. SWB had Coco. Yeah, was bad. She's yeah. a bad chick on that. Right, right here, yeah. that Michael Jackson remake. Yeah, okay, had, Human Nature. Yeah, they had some. Hell, they had a Neptune joint. I about to say, they had a Neptune joint. Use Your Heart joint. What was the other one? Uh, I yeah, remember the, uh, heart. the, the 702 cats. that had... Uh, I still yeah. know you, but that was the 90s. Wasn't they they came young cats, too. Uh, Soul For Real. Yeah, that was no, that was what's that? Candy Rain. What was that? Soul For Real. Soul For Real. 
Heavy D in the Yeah, and then Tupac had that sample on that All Out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Daz, man. That's your hot that. as fuck. You know what, Daz? You were another producer ain't getting your due credit. <laughs> you was a hard working motherfucker Daz producer. Is cold as fuck and you got it, classics man. under your belt, hey, my nigga. I'll cold with it. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Daz? Daz is above just blazing me, bro. I'm just going to. Hey. I was just about to say that, Daz. I don't. Hey, man. You might have just. I, I, Daz put a lot of work, a lot of dope work into like a short time span i know he didn't produce shit over a year's time and i kind of lost track because i ain't really listen to dog pound or dads and them like after like i'm gonna put it like this can i tie can i tie <laughs> Daz? well you can and, put him in the 10 <laughs> you and, and you and y'all fingernails apart you and just blaze to me Daz. i both of y'all niggas is a one to me i i'm i'm my fault for forgetting about you my nigga yeah you just you always forget about cats like yeah, that that was again kind of like how death row forgot about you Oh. Well, Death Row forgot what got <laughs> that's them the there in the first That's the brew. That's the brew, Daz. I'm just Death Row forgot you. what got them there in the <laughs> first place. That's what happened. But he was like, he's he like RZA to me, like not with the beats, but like he was a part of a of the group he was producing for. I so mean, you yeah, don't, no doubt. you don't he really think about the producer shit, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. But then you listen to all eyes right. on me. Matter of fact, they probably like realized Daz is more of a niggas. Probably didn't know like the actual fans that he was actually producing them songs. They right, probably right. just knew him as a rapper with Daz and Corrupt. So. Exactly. And and back then, you know, unless you was guys like us, you really right. wasn't you paying that much that attention. No way. Yeah. Right. Just like now, like. Half these cats don't know who, unless they say it at the beginning of the track, like uh, Metro Boomin wants to know. I was about to say, just, like, you would shout out to know. Metro because Metro is kind of, Metro is dope. I, <laughs> yeah. I like them as, I, Metro I like them. all over Speak, the place. Yeah, speaking, of, speaking of the, the newer cats, who who is some of the newer producers y'all messing with? Well, you know what, I'm about to shout out. I don't really he, know enough of them, but I'll put I don't know enough of them either, but I'm going to shout out, he ain't newer at all because, you know, he worked with Timberland, but Nate. Hills, Danger, been getting a lot of work in. It might not been in the hip hop game for so much, but they get work in. They've been yeah. doing a lot of things. They've been around for a while. Yeah, he's been around for a minute. Like I said, he ain't none of the new cats right now. But as far as the new cats, we got to say Metro, uh, DJ Mustard. Um, yeah, Mustard had a crazy run. It was it 2015? You know, Mike Will. You know, Mike Will still doing Mike his Will thing. got, damn, he got a, who he got a new joint with? Don't, don't he got a new album? I don't know. He got Mike Will did somebody shit like that just came out within the past few weeks. Somebody big. Yeah. I can't remember who it is. I'm gonna give a shout out to Drake's boy Forty. Forty got some dope ass beats to me. He he created what's called the Drake sound. Yes, you know, he did. That he created a pop culture. hater to love it. Yeah, you know. Right now, if, if if you really look at it, y'all got the hottest tracks. If you yeah. really want to My boy, man, he been out for a second. I don't know if it's called new, but he just kind of stayed under. So, uh, like Zaytoven. Oh yeah, Zaytoven. Yeah, yeah. Zaytoven is like I, I ain't gonna call him a legend, but he he definitely a classic nigga right now. Mm-hmm. Man, shit, Zaytoven. he created that whole you know Zaytoven Gucci nasty. sound that whole and how many niggas bit off yeah. of that since then? Yeah. So Zaytoven. Nasty. And then you got the guys that's not so new but yeah, like, current, like uh, DJ Toon. Yeah, uh, Toon. Oh yeah, fucking, that's uh, give shout out to Toon, man. Toon. What's the um the nigga that was doing Jeezy shit? Shawty Red, them oh, yeah. guys, Shawty you know Red, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm sure Justice they was doing their thing yeah. for a while, no, but they kind of like, yeah. they ain't They're the new, new the cats, way. but they knew her to the runners. Red, um, I don't know. What happened to the runners? They had a little run. It was a lot of the runners, the business, a yeah. uh, bunch of them motherfuckers. Remember the heat man. makers? Heat makers, did all the dips and shit. I fuck with the heat makers. Uh, the heat makers was heat makers. so. T- listen, they listen. Was, they was like, they had, y'all had some. Hit or miss, baby. They was. That fucking uh, diplomatic community. Shout out to the, the first one or the second. The first one. Okay. The first one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with cold. you on that, bro. They was that hit shit. They right. had they had some shits, but when I didn't like it, it was like that fucking awful. that 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 the 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 one the banger for the diplomats. What was that song? Uh, the one that they came out that first single they came out with. Man, that shit. Was I really so- mean it. No, nah, I really mean it. That shit was sweet, but no, the other one, it was the the anthem, the dip set, the dip set anthem. I think it was called. Hey, how did it go? Uh, they had they had the video. Santana did most of the rapping, and then uh. The one that was like dip set, dip set, dip, that shit. No, no, man, you, I, I had to play it. Damn, but I no, can't. I wasn't a huge dip set that fan, shit, but no, the heat makers had some bang, and that fucking that. Killer, computer, computer, yeah, computer, man, fucking yeah, baby yeah, was cold, yeah, man. Yeah, they, uh, they had a. And they took man. that fucking that one sample. They took that coming to America. 
shit. What's really good? Yeah, that yeah. with DMX was yeah. really good. I wonder how much they paid DMX to say that one line. Dog, oh, because <laughs> DMX cold. is on fire at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, they probably he charged the hell out of them, or maybe not. I don't know. Shout out to the hate, man. Yeah, I'll be figure. But again, man, that's how the game goes, dog. Cats come and go so quick because there's so much music coming out, being consumed, thrown away. You forget about certain people, even though they might still be working. You know what I'm saying? And not to be all preachy, but like when it comes to like black music, man, we are our own worst enemy, dog. Because we'll be on somebody one minute and then the next minute we talking shit about them. They fell off, mm-hmm. yada, yada, yada. But not knowing, hell, they still counting their chips somewhere else. They just not in the forefront. And ain't nobody gonna ever just stay up there. You know, I heard Timbaland even say that he walked into some offices and they told him he he just wasn't it for the moment. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like you know what I'm saying? This and this is years after right, right. Aaliyah, his mm-hmm. own shit, JT first album. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Telling him no, nah, you ain't it. Like damn, yeah. you know. Do you... people like Jermaine Dupri <clears throat> again? Keep bringing him up. You know, yep. Jermaine Dupri. Shit, his catalog is bigger than most people's catalogs ever be. Yeah, but he can't walk into somewhere right now and get a track over Metro right now because he's just not hot right now. Even if it sound like some Metro. Right, shit. even if it sound like some Metro, but you know, but that's just the way the game is. It's an on demand market right now. How big do y'all think cuz bro, you keep bringing her up. How big would y'all you think Aaliyah would have been right now if she would have died? I mean, she would have just been she would have been a legend. I think she would have been on like the she would have been, been she would have been she, she would have been what like she should be with Beyoncé. That's what I think too. I think she probably would have. Uh, this don't sound bad. She would have transcended music. She was already a gone. She yeah. would have been, you know, she would have been like Will Smith and them. She yeah. transcended yeah, over yeah. to a whole. That's other. what I was about to say. Yeah. I think she would have been as big as Beyonce, she but I think star. she would have walked away from not yeah, walked music. away from music, but right. she would have kind of like yeah, like the yeah. Queen Latifah. Yeah, and I'm gonna Will go here and do this. Right, probably right, like yeah. a fashion icon. She'd have been or a star. Like right. She'd she have just been an icon. in general. Because Beyonce still killing the music game, but Beyonce ain't really... I mean, she done a couple movies and stuff, but she ain't really right. just she became like black. a box office... <laughs> you said what? That shit, she can't I mean, let, let's get it. Oh, yeah, I ain't really seen that. Right. Right. I've seen no, one part of no one No shame, movie. but you can't act. <laughs> you well, ain't you know. seen a uh, fucking... What was that bullshit? Uh, Austin Powers? Yeah. Shazam! No. Oh, she my said God. Right. I didn't see the one she was she, in. No. Yeah, that she shit. said it. She looked amazing. She said She said it's back. She said Shazam? She said Shazam. Oh. Emphasis on it. That was part of it. And then what was that other yeah. one? That other I know movie? it was a comedy, but uh, the other movie she had about with uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh, she was in the oh, church yeah, or something like preacher, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that I didn't shit. see that. that His movie's terrible. hard to watch anyway. Though. That shit Cuba. was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking I'm sure. Dream Girls was good, but her she still can act. I couldn't yeah. even sit through. Nah, no, man, you know something. I'm not a movie guy like that act. anyway. So like, it's it, it's really hard for me to watch an entire movie. Yeah, but the like Leah, I mean, back to the Leah thing. She, I think she would have just transcended that. Yeah, you know, because again, she was she was on her third joint. Yeah, right when she like passed that. away, so. and she was already trans. She was in what that two movie, Romeo Must Die and then that Queen of the Dam. Yeah, so she was already yeah. already on that tip. Yeah, career wise, that yeah, and that's that's kind of how I feel about um like Tupac. Like I feel like he was kind of he would have went, went that way actor. too. Yeah, yeah, he was kind of. So. I don't. I didn't know him obviously, but it seemed like he was kind of through with the rap shit. Like he, he was just kind of doing it to get yeah. it out the way. Yeah. I think Pac would have been. He would have went all the way actor, and he would still been like a activist, but. I think he would have been. Yeah, he would have been a fig. He would have been a star. Yeah, he would have been just been a pure that, star. The yeah. actor. Yeah, but, come in and spit a verse on something every mm-hmm. once in a while. But like, as far as like mashing, putting the album out yeah. every year, he probably that would have slowed down. Like probably. Cube transcends it into that that genre. Exactly. Shit. Like how I mean, often did these generation Cube... know Cube more for acting than rap? Exactly. Like Cube didn't put out it, albums until every year. Straight out of Compton came out. Niggas probably didn't even know Cube was a rapper. Right. The younger right. generation, or at least they didn't take him seriously. They're right. They're like, <laughs> oh, this is an actor uh, doing rap. Yeah, he you just doing the Donald Glover or Will thing. Smith for that matter. Yeah. This younger generation yeah. didn't know Will Smith was a fucking huge star. Like, that was what he did. That, that primarily is exactly before, what he did. For that you know TV show saying? popped so, off. Yeah, yeah. Will Smith and, 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 and DJ Jazzy Jeff was the first rap group to win a Grammy. Yeah. yeah. Shit didn't yeah. even come on TV. Yeah. That's a fact check for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't even get that televised because right. they still ain't respect that yeah. shit at that yeah. point. And that's why they, they boycotted <laughs> that shit. Yeah, yeah that's, that's something too, man. Like, that would be good. And the only to reason get. I, think, I don't care about the Grammys though. Like but. Drake is at that level now, but the only reason I think he hasn't transcended to the acting thing because he did that first. So it's not. Yeah. It's probably this is more or less an interest to him now. Right. 
like back then it was a huge interest, but he had to do the acting just yeah. to get to this point. And he's the first. Uh, and again, if y'all can think of somebody else, throw it out there. He's the first person to do something else, and transition to rap, and actually make that work for him. I agree. Like, like blow I can't up really with think that of shit. nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to do that. Because I know no actors that actually right. Like even Kobe even and all, Allen Iverson. And yeah, I'll say even outside right, of right. acting, just yeah, yeah. doing something right. else. No, that's true. Coming to because rap is harsh, man. People barely respect you if this is your primary right. thing. So for you to come from that to this and then blow the fuck up, he got to be the first person to do it, at least to that magnitude. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I don't think nobody else is going to do it as big as he has. Even guys that... I mean, he didn't surpass some of the yeah. cats that, you know, that we grew up idolizing, you know, and that's crazy, but, you know. There's nobody on the radar, I put it like that, that's going to Nah, that. man. It ain't. It so, ain't. Well, well we ain't going to bore y'all no more. You know, this is our first episode. Had to get some stuff off our chest real quick. So signing off, yeah. GNLO Music. Everybody, uh, make sure they check us out. Um, we're going to try to do this like uh, every couple weeks. We're going to put out another podcast. For sure. Um, subscribe to the YouTube. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know if it's something you want us to uh, uh, touch on that we ain't uh, talked about yet. You know what I'm saying? And we always looking to make that connect, that networking opportunity. If y'all got something to say too, bring y'all voices, you know. Where the mic at? That's what we all about. Yeah, Put man. the mic in your face, say what you got to say, and we can get it off our chest together. Yeah, hit us with that feedback again. You can hit us online as well, man. G-N-L-O music. That's G-N-L-O-M-U-S-I-K. Yep. Dot com and then musicbypro.com. Find all the music that we got available there. And um, like G said, hit us in the comments. Let us know what you're feeling. If it's something that we should be tapping on or, or hitting on subject-wise. Let us know. We'll come in with some notes next time. Let's go around. But, you know, this is what we call a dry run pilot episode. And um, just going to keep it moving, man. Hey, and shout out real quick to Cherokee for that repost. <laughs> hey, we love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we out.